Hello everyone, I am Brandon. And I'm Mom. And welcome back here to Tansen Talks TV. We're so glad to have you. Yes, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, and so, of course, Mom, how are you doing today? I am doing fine. It is beautiful outside. I don't know if you guys can see the sun is shining on this December day. So yes, it's a great day. Yeah, and we're so well, excited to bring you all today's episode. And Mom, I know we're doing something different today. Yes, we are. Do you have any talk about it, Brandon? Okay. Um, yes, we are, for the month of December, we are going to be discussing some winter slash holiday types of shows. Uh, we're trying to think of some of the memorable shows uh, that kind of stand out during this season. So I would say this is a tis the season type of month. Tis the season for Tanson Talks TV. Yes, it is. Well, I'm very excited for us to get into our first, you know, wintertime fun episode. And Mom, which one are we doing first? We are actually going back to look at the Brady Bunch again. But we are discuss we are going to talk about their Christmas episode that they do have. Yeah, and this episode is episode 12 of the series called The Voice of Christmas. Yes. And it should be memorable for those people who remember the Brady Bunch. It should be a memorable episode for them because I believe, if I remember correctly, this is the only seasonal show that they have. Yeah, I'm very excited for us to get into it. And mom, if you can do us the honors of yeah diving into the show that came out December of 1969. Yes. Um, when I thought about shows that we could look at during this holiday season, um, this show was the one that stood out to me first. Um, I, it was just really memorable for me. And so I'm sure and kind of an iconic episode. Um, I'm sure those of us, those of you who have seen this episode would think the same. I know Brandon has not seen many Brady Bunch episodes, but this one he, he said he remembered um, when we watched it last night. And so... Just to give you a little synopsis about this episode, um, in this particular episode, of course, it's the holiday time period. Um, it begins with Mike and um, Mike and Alice wrapping gifts for the family, and then Carol kind of walks in, and her voice is gone. And this is the beginning of the particular episode. Um, it's really all about Carol and the fact that she has lost her voice. What's important about this is that it um, that Carol was supposed to sing the solo for the church Christmas um, program, and um, and so since she um, doesn't have a voice, that's a little bit of an issue. And so um, her family kind of family kind of rallies around her. Um, and she does everything that she can to kind of keep her voice quiet, or at least with some prodding from people to keep her voice quiet. And so, um, so everyone wants, um, Carol to be able to sing at the, at the, at the, um, Christmas show at the Christmas church program. And, um, so Mike decides to take the children to the mall. Um, Cindy is the only one shown um, even though they kind of claim that the children were there. But anyway, um, so Mike takes Cindy to the mall and um, and Cindy sees the line for Santa Claus. So she waits in line while Mike goes and returns the package. Um, Cindy is in the line and she speaks to Santa Claus. And her wish is for her mother to get her voice back for the, the, um, for the Christmas morning service. Um, Santa says that, um, that yes, that will happen for her. And um, Mike is not too happy when he finds out later that this is a promise that Santa has given to his daughter. And so he does have a little chat with Santa later in the department store. I guess there wasn't security around. I don't know. So anyway, so Mike has a chance to go in and he speaks to Santa. And um, and then um, a little later that day, um, Mike speaks to Cindy and he does say to her that um, even though Santa promised this, um, just understand that this may not happen. And so the children are, um, they're upset that their mom can't, you know, is not able to sing. And, and so, but on Christmas morning, when Carol wakes up, then um, her voice is back and she's able to sing the song for the Christmas, for the Christmas program in church. Well, thank you so much, mom, for, you know, wrapping up this episode, no pun intended. Oh, you're welcome, Brandon. And yeah. I mean, this definitely, I feel like, is a very, 
a memorable memorable episode for you know for the Brady Bunch and and you know out of the yeah the 117 episodes this series had you know I feel like this is one that's yeah in my opinion stands out uh, the most. Yeah, I think so, too. I think so. Uh, there were just a lot of cute things that kind of went on in the episode. And so even I remember later, um, of course, I was not there to see the original. Um, so I watched it uh, and watching it in reruns um, as, a, as a younger person. I remember when they kind of took some of the clips out, per se. And so I was happy to see that those scenes that I do remember um, from what I think was the original version was sh was on the episode that we watched. Yes. And yeah, I mean, it was really, you know, great going, you know, going through the episode and yeah, and sort of see like, yeah, the true Christmas spirit being um, brought into this episode. And yeah, and it, and this Christmas is actually set to be the first one of all of them as a family. And so, mm -hmm. you know, you're able to see the, yeah, the dynamics and everything um, between them and that they all just, you know, mom to feel better. So that way she can you know, sing her song at church and, you know, and have a big Christmas together. And it really comes down to, you know, their housekeeper, Alice, to make sure that it's like, we're not canceling Christmas, you know, we're, we're just, we're just going to try to do what's best for your mom. And, you know, and if she's not able to, you know, partake in things as, as usual, then we'll, you know, we'll work around that, but we're not going to postpone Christmas, cancel it because I mean, that would just disappoint everyone. Yep. That's very true too. And one of the things I know, Brandon, sometimes I kind of have my top 10 list. And so, and you brought up some of the things on my top 10 list, but I was kind of thinking about um, some of the holiday things I kind of see and some of the shows that we watch during the holiday season. And so I was going to use kind of this basis as a guide, subject to change, um, for our thoughts, maybe, for these holiday shows that we're going to be reviewing over the next um, about four weeks or so. Are you okay with that, Brad? Yeah. All right. And so, like I said, one of the things I thought about was when you think about these holiday episodes, you're kind of looking for a, a sense of nostalgic uh, it's like a nostalgic feeling when you kind of watch these episodes. And I know we already discussed a little bit of that, but, um, you know, it kind of feels like Christmas when you kind of see this episode. Do you think so, Brian? I definitely think so. I mean, you have everything from you know, young children visiting Santa to, you know, to wanting something for the greater good, you know, and not, you know, for any selfish reasons or whatever. And, you know, the Christmas miracle. I mean, I feel like it has a little bit of anything and everything as traditional as you can get for uh, Christmas Day. Yep. And then uh, one of the other things I've noticed, there's always the need to find the perfect gift. And so in this particular episode, um, you know, Mike thought he found the perfect gift in regards to a tape recorder for um, his wife. And then he ended up exchanging it to what we never know what he exchanges it for. But Cindy's and Cindy's idea of a perfect gift was really the voice for her um, for her mom. And then the kids, there's another scene in the, in the episode where the kids are trying to figure out where they're going to put their gifts that they bought for each other. So this gift exchange is there. So just seeing that there is a perfect gift thought that is in the particular episode. And then um, I also noticed there tends to be some sort of discussion of a tree and or decorations in these types of episodes. And this episode, uh, the tree was discussed and, um, and where the tree should be set. The kids went and um, got the tree, which I guess from a lot that had to be close to their house. But anyway, they were able to get the tree and bring it back home. And, um, and then Carol um, has some interaction with her nodding and pointing of where the tree needed to go. And then there were some things about the tree that I saw that reminded me, of course, of Christmases when I was younger. Um, things that you don't know about, Brandon, like tinsel. I don't know if you did if you caught that in the episode or not. Um, but um, but yes, just to see that they did use some sort of decoration that becomes kind of like the extra scene in the scene. 
And then there's always the song element in some of these episodes. In this case, it was Oh Come All You Faithful, because that's the song that um, Carol sang. Um, but I noticed that in a lot of the holiday episodes that there is some sort of song that's there. Whether or not it's a backdrop song or whether or not it's the song of focus, there tends to be some sort of a song. Um, Santa, we cannot forget Santa is typ typically Santa's in, um, in the holiday specials. And so, of course, in this case, Santa does play a prominent role in regards to Cindy because Cindy does go visit Santa. And that's where she has her wish and that comes through. Um, there's always some sort of cute dilemma in my thoughts. And so the cute dilemma here was the voice. Um, you know, how do you bring it back? <laughs> And then um, there's always some sort of family feeling. In this case, kind of like you mentioned, Brandon, because the um, this is their first Christmas together. Um, this is like a bonding time for them as a family since they have not been married long. Um, there's always some cute kid in the scene in this case, in the episode. In this case, it is Cindy. And I think there's also a sense of innocence that's in that is portrayed in the particular episode, and that comes with Cindy. And um, it really comes to Cindy in this episode. And then I always think there's a memorable quote in the episode. And Frank, can you guess what my memorable quote is going to be? I'm going to take a guess. And, like, I mean, I don't know the exact quote, but I feel like it's going to be when Cindy was talking to, you know, to her dad uh, right after Santa. Uh-huh. It is. When she says, and don't not quote it exactly, but he is better than a doctor. He is Santa Claus. And that just stands out for, you know, when you see that this particular episode, those words kind of stand out. Yeah, and I definitely think it does really, yeah, stand out. And even with like the little musical undertone that, you know, that happens during that, that scene adds the little, adds the little mystical, you know, Christmas feel. <laughs> Yes, it, it does. It does. And that's my group of 10 lists this week, Brandon. And like I see, I'll see if we can apply it to the other shows that we do. We'll see if it kind of works. Yeah, and like I said, I mean, I feel like this episode right here is probably, I, I feel like a basis for just, you know, Christmas episodes across the board because, I mean, I mean, like I said, we truly have like every aspect of a holiday show right here. And, and yeah, I mean, so I feel like it'll be interesting to see, like, what shows we go through and if they apply these or if they don't, or if they even take their own um, approach or spin the things. Yeah, it will be. It will be. Brandon, it'll also be interesting to see if our audience thinks that if they have some sort of iconic, you know, holiday show, um, it could be wintry, it could be Christmassy, it could be just a holiday show just in general. But uh, it's interesting. It, I'd love to hear what shows that you think are are like one of your top four or five shows for the holiday season. And we'll see if maybe maybe we'll be able to tackle one of those shows or maybe one of your shows matches what we're thinking about too. Yeah, I'd love to hear you know all your suggestions. So definitely let us know. Yes, yes. And I know we've already talked about the theme song for this particular show. And so um, since so the same, you know, I love the Brady Bunch theme song because I can sing it. Yeah, it definitely is such a, you know, uh, iconic show and opening to, you know, still in the first season. Yep, yeah, still in the first season. Maybe eventually we'll make it out of the first season for the Brady Bunch. <laughs> yeah, and and I guess if you had to pinpoint like a number per se, how many times do you think you've seen this episode? I don't even think I could put a number on it, Brandon. I have seen it so many times um, because, you know, um, when I was a little, the Brady Bunch would come on and reruns nonstop. Um, I think occasionally you could hear it, hit it here and there now. All right. So if anyone wants to see this particular episode, um, it is on Paramount Plus. So please take a look at it there. Yeah, it's the full episode in its entirety, to the best of our knowledge. To the, yep, to the best of our knowledge. <laughs> But yeah, but mom, I always enjoy these discussions. Is there anything else that you want to, you know, bring up before we bring this episode to a close? No, I think this is a short one for today, Brandon, because we just kind of want to introduce this concept and, and see where we're going to go with it and see what our audience thinks for particular shows that we're tackle and let us know your thoughts of this pretty much episode too. Yeah, and with that being said, I guess this episode is a wrap. And all right, <laughs> you're with the puns today, aren't you, Brandon? Yes, I am. 
All right. <laughs> well, wrap it up for us. Yeah. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in as always. And we are very excited to bring us yet another holiday episode next week. Yes. And tis the season on Tansen Talks. We'll see y'all next time. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.